Andrea, do you know what time it is? <laughs> Hit it! So, that is the Harry Potter theme as a duet, which we're making it super easy. We're gonna teach you both parts, and there's gonna be a backing track of the corded part, but we're gonna do the melody part first. And Andrea, what, uh, are you sticking around? What are you doing? No. I still don't know the names of the strings, so I really can't teach you guys how to play this song. That is problematic, but what she lacks for in string name knowledge, she makes up for in awesome singing ability, so check out her channel, which I'm going to link you to below, but, Thank you. but let's get started. Bye! Okay, so we have two parts. We're going to break each part into easy sections. Uh, really, we're going to do the lead part first, the... And then we're gonna do the chord second. Again, I've got that backing track that you might wanna practice along to. It's just a really simple, easy arrangement of chords that you can use to make a duet. But the first part we're gonna do is gonna sound like this. Okay, so that's gonna be Part one, and the first section we're gonna do is all gonna be built, built around an A minor chord, super easy. Now, some people may have played it like this, but we're doing it way more official than that, and it's really gonna sound a lot more musical and uh, kind of thicker sounding because it's all around this A minor chord. So A minor is open E, two D, two G, one B, open E. Now, most of the notes, since this is like in the key of A minor, are gonna be really all within reach of this one shape. So this shape is really important to know before you jump into the song because it's gonna give you pretty much all the locations that you're gonna to need to know. In fact, the first few notes are all gonna be right here within this shape. So again, we go D, G, B. Those are the first three notes, just really arpeggiating would be the name for doing that through an A minor chord, 2D, 2G, 1B. Again, you can do them like that or with the shape intact. 2D, 2G, 1B, open B. Okay, so get that part down first. And then back to 2G because that's gonna repeat, okay? So really slow. 2D, 2G, 1B, open B, 2G. You can do that 1B to open B as a pull off. Okay, I just picked it once, pulled off, so. Super recognizable right there, right off the bat. You're already rocking it out. Then we're gonna jump to the high E string. 3B, open B, okay? So we're gonna call that section one of part one. Really easy, that's just like, that's Sorcerer's Stone, year one, a Hogwarts, uh, section one, okay? So section two is gonna sound like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is definitely like Chamber of Secrets because it gets a little bit darker with this, the first fret on the G string. So, same thing as section one. There's those first four notes again. 2D, 2G, 1B, open B, 1G, 2G, 2D. So really all of this stuff is just all around the A minor chord, okay? So section one. Section two. Okay. Section three sounds like this.
okay? So again, it's that first A minor part again, which is why it's super important to just get that A minor part down. Because it really just repeats itself throughout the song, all right? So again, we've got. Open E, three, two, one, okay? So this is called a chromatic walk. Just kind of going backwards one note at a time after the A minor part. E, three, two, one. And then we're gonna kind of finish it off here with section four. All right, now this is the darkest part of the whole thing. This is like the end of Goblet of Fire, R.I.P. Cedric. Never forget. All right, so after we do the intro part and then the chromatic walk from section three, we're gonna jump to the fourth fret of the B string. I think it's easiest to grab your, use your pinky to grab that. Open E. And then this cool little part right here. One B, two G, one D, okay? You can kind of think of it as like, as like a spider walk, All right? One, up a string, up a string. One B, two G, one D, really get that down. Just drill that. And then you're gonna go back to one B, two G, okay? So that's all of part one. We'll do it again. Section one. Section two. Section three. And then the fourth part. Okay? Again, uh, right after the next part, we're gonna go through the chords to go behind that. Really easy, but let's jump into part two, and it's, that's gonna sound like this. Okay, so let's start breaking that and do its own section. It starts out, one B, open E, okay? One B, E, one B, E. Now the first fret on the B string is actually a C note. So it goes C, E, C, E, C, one E, open E, four B, okay? So, one E, open E, four B. Then we're gonna go back to, which is very similar to what we did in the first part, where it just goes four B, open E, then that spider crawl type thing we did earlier. One B, open B. Now the reason that we're doing this is because we're kind of creating a tension by ending on that B, that open B. There's no resolution, it doesn't sound like a fitting end there. We're setting it up to go back to that other, that section that we just did in the new part to the chromatic walk. And then it ends there. Okay, so again, we're gonna break down all these sections again in part two. One B, E, one B, E, one B, one E, open E, four B, four B, E, backwards walk, one B, open B. Then we start off again, just the same way. 1B, E, 1B, E, 1B, 3, 2, 1, 4B, E, 1B, 2G, 1D, 1B, 2G. And then really a cool way to end is just to hit that A minor, because again, it's in the key of A minor, you wanna really, the way we're doing it anyways, you wanna really end on the A minor to solidify that you uh, have arrived, ended it, Deathly Hollow style, except way shorter than that was. Just like that, okay? So again, we'll do the melody one more time, in its entirety, and then we're gonna do the chords of the song. Part two. Now 
resolution. Okay, now, I think this really makes a cool duet, and there aren't enough great guitar duets, especially things that are so recognizable as, it, as this theme, because it's all about friendship, right? These books, kind of like the trio, the power trio, Hermione, Ron, Harry, always messing it up. And uh, really, this is a super easy arrangement. It's just a couple chords. And again, A minor is really kind of the all-star of this. A minor is like the Harry Potter of it. When people ask you what your favorite Harry Potter character is, it's like, it's gotta be Harry. Harry's just like a man, right? So what we're gonna do this is in a waltz. This is in a waltz. What that means is we count to three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And if you notice, when I was playing it with Andrea earlier, I wasn't going like. Really, that's kind of, that's going to overpower another guitar player or instrumentalist who's doing like the lead part, okay? So I'm actually palm muting this uh, in the beginning of the video, but really play it however you want when you want to practice it. So it's just an A minor chord, and we're going to hit the root note A first, and then we're going to hit the rest of the chord second. So root, chord, chord, and again, palm muted, it sounds like this, which I think it sounds more true to the soundtrack when you palm muted because it is kind of like little bursts of like that as compared to but really however you want to play it this is a waltz in a minor so we're gonna do this three times one two three two two three three two three switch it up okay this is really just gonna be four parts really really easy arrangement so three times on the a minor Three beats of three. Again, this is in three. One, two, three, the second, two, three, the third, two, three. Then this guy right here. Getting crazy right here, okay? Now, if this is too hard for you, we've got an alternate way to do it. But officially, it's one E, which is an F, ring finger, three D, middle finger, two G, pinky, three B. Okay, so we're gonna grab the root note, one, two, three, like that. So root note is this F. And then really combine this, you know, I'm kind of thinking of this as like a B flat major seven chord. You don't have to worry about that. Now, if this right here, it just happens on the one, the, the, the three count, the fourth three count. One, two, three, four. If that's kind of a, a reach, you know, if you haven't gotten that down, you'll, you'll get there. But you can always just do it without the root note. You can go A. And it still sounds pretty much like it, okay? But it's really just getting this little triangle looking shape right here. So that's gonna be the first section. Then, then we're gonna go. Okay, this is back and forth between A minor and E major, okay? You probably already know these chords. This is A minor, then up a string. One, two, three, up a string. Down a string, then up. So, instead of hitting one, two, three, that root note, and then the chord twice afterwards, the very last one leaves some space. All right, so the first bar of three would be an A minor. Then the second one's E major, A minor, root chord. Okay, so there's space on that final bar. Again, so now we have two parts of the chord section. One, two, three, two, three, three, and the fourth is the change. One, two, three, and four. Okay, next part is gonna be like the first part again. One, two, three, four. Then the fourth part is the only time it changes, which really is the same chords. A minor, E major, A minor, and one more longer pause, okay? So again, if each one of these parts, we break it into four parts, Four bars, each bar is gonna be three counts in this song. The first count is gonna be three bars of A minor and one bar of the weird one, right? One, two, three, and then the weird one. B flat major seven, however you wanna look at it. Then the second section, the second group of four bars is gonna be one of A minor, one of E major, one of A minor root chord. Third time around is the same as the first one. Fourth time is A minor, E major, A minor. But instead of going root, chord, chord, root, chord, chord for the last two bars, we're just gonna go root, chord, chord, and 
and then one big chord to take the last three beats of that fourth bar, all right? All together, the, all the four parts are gonna sound like this. A minor, A minor, A minor, F. A minor, E major, A minor, E major. A minor, A minor, A minor, F root note. A minor, E major, A minor, and one more. Now you can do that, again, this is just a simple arrangement to be able to accompany the first part that we did. You can do that over both parts. So again, if you don't have someone to play it with, it's really good to learn both parts, but I'm gonna put this part as a backing track that you can click below, click below, clink. That should be a new word. That's a magical trick I just did. I just made up a new word combining two long one syllable words into one. Click the link, clink the link below. Check out the backing track. If you have any comments or questions, uh, hit me up in the comment section, Instagram, Twitter, or the website. And until then, stay magical.